Hey guys, what's going on? T-Mart here, and uh, this is not Black Ops. I'm switching it up a little bit on you guys. Uh, this is actually Crisis 2, and uh, Crisis 2 is a game that just came out today. It's on the Xbox, the PS3, and the PC, I believe. And then around the 25th, so around three or four days, it's going to come out for those same systems over in Europe. So, um... As you can see, it's a first-person shooter. It's kind of based in the future. It kind of reminds me of Alien Warfare just because everything's so much different. You know, it's not meant to be realistic in any matter, whereas, you know, Call of Duty, although it's not really realistic, uh, it, it kind, of, kind of plays off realism. Uh, this game is kind of completely out there in left field, but it's a lot of fun. So, uh, they actually had a demo of this game. I'm pretty sure you can still get it, so if you guys want to try out that demo, you can or if you've already played it uh, but the thing about the demo was um, you played on one map with two game modes the entire time and it got really old really quickly I mean by the second or third day I was already bored of it so I really don't think that demo gives the game the representation that it deserves uh, because you know I was questioning whether or not I should buy this game and I thought you know what I'll just go for it I'll give it a try and I'm really happy I did uh, now this game that you're seeing here is actually the very first game that I played uh, and I've played a couple more since then but not too many so uh, this is just kind of my first impressions video I might do a more formal review uh, later but uh, from what I've seen for so far it's a lot of fun uh, the maps are great first of all they're all really balanced at least the ones that I've played on I mean as you can see in this one here it's just a big rectangle so I mean there's simplicity but at the same time there's all these balconies there's all these shops all these tunnels all these random things placed throughout the map to kind of uh, assist in making the gameplay a little bit more unique I guess you could say and uh, you know again that's really kind of the deal with this game it's just it's really unique it's nothing like any other first-person shooter uh, one of the big major differences are your armor abilities so you've got two of them you've got your armor lock or I don't know what it's called it gives you more health and then you've got your invisibility cloak which kinda turns you invisible and you're not 100 percent in invisible but uh, for the most part if an enemy is not paying really close attention he's not gonna be able to see you and uh, these really mix the gameplay up because I mean you can sneak into an enemy spawn and you know knife or uh, beat him down in the back or uh, you know when you're getting in a gunfight you can throw on your armor and uh, you can have more health for that gunfight so um, how you activate these is on the right and left bumpers I believe right bumper is the invisibility and left bumper is the uh, the more health armor ability and uh, you can't use them forever though so as you can see down in the bottom right you've got your energy bar and uh, that's gonna go down when you're using your abilities that's gonna go down when you're sprinting that's gonna go down when you're jumping and climbing over things uh, there's just a lot of different ways that that energy bar can go down and that energy bar really allows you to do maneuvers in the game so it's really important and uh, you always have to think about conserving it because if you let it go all the way down it takes a longer time to regenerate uh, than if you just let it go partially down and then let it regenerate and uh, moving on from that there's actually some perks uh, that will help out your energy bar I mean there's ones to give you more energy there's ones to let you use your armor abilities more there's ones to let you regenerate it faster uh, you know there's all kinds of stuff and uh, really the perks are super super unique um, you know, there's everything from uh, one of them is called proximity alarm to where it will beep uh, when enemies are nearby. Uh, there's another one where it will trace the paths of bullets of enemies so you can see where it comes from. There's one where you can see where the footprints of enemies are. So, uh, you know, it's it's not meant to be on realism. I think it's kind of it's more of an arcadey feel so uh, there's just a lot of random stuff thrown together that's balanced and a lot of fun to play um, but it's just different so it's a great switch up in that in that uh, matter uh, anyways moving on let's talk about the guns there seems to be a lot of guns in the game uh, now I believe the GameStop guy hooked me up with a special edition copy it might have been on accident he might have been being cool uh, because I started out at level 5 with create a class so that was really cool I believe I'm using the scar right here and it's uh, it's a fully automatic weapon uh, as you can see the recoil really isn't too bad but there is enough there to make it important to uh, to keep your shots on target 
Um, now, I believe there might be somewhere around 10 to 15 guns in the game. I'm not sure on that. There's a lot of different classes. Uh, you know, it's kind of like Call of Duty in that matter. There's assault rifles, there's SMGs, there's LMGs. There's all kind of stuff, so... Um, that's a lot of fun to mess around with, and I can't wait to unlock kind of the higher up guns. Uh, it seems like some some good times there. Oh, and I did remember one thing I definitely wanted to talk about, and that's the smoothness of the gameplay. Okay, so that's one of the biggest turnoffs for me is when games aren't very smooth. I mean, kind of in Battlefield. I mean, I like those games, but it just kind of makes me upset when it feels my, like my character is 400 pounds. And uh, one of the biggest things is uh, in the demo of this game, when you were, you know, moving from the hip, you had a really high sensitivity. But then when you aimed down sight, it was a really low sensitivity. So if you were trying to shoot an enemy and you were trying to spray them and then move into aiming down sight, you couldn't really do it because the sensitivities were so much different and it would just be hard to stay on target. Uh, but this game, the actual game, seems to have fixed that. Now, it, it you know, it's not quite Call of Duty uh, smooth, but it is a very, very smooth game. I'm really, really enjoying that aspect of it. And uh, I think you guys will as well. Um, now also, talking about the smoothness, the gameplay is actually pretty fast. There's not too much camping. And the reason for that is, is the way the kill streaks work. Uh, so when you kill someone, they will drop dog tags. And you have to pick up those dog tags to be able to get your kill streaks. So you can't sit in a corner and pick off people around the map and be able to get your kill streaks up. You have to actually be running around, you have to be moving, you have to kill people and then pick up their dog tags to be able to get your kill streaks. So that's that's really cool and I believe there is a perk uh, that lets you get those dog tags automatically. Uh, so that would be good for snipers and things. But again, for the most part, this is a great game. It's got a lot of fun features. It's a great way to mix it up from Call of Duty and uh, it's got some nice, quick, entertaining gameplay. So. I definitely suggest it. Let me know what you guys think if you've got it already. And if you want to play, then send me a message on Xbox. I'll catch you all later.